Hi my friends, today we model this part. You see, here is a small difference between these two faces. But we'll find everything in the drawing. You see, here is 38.8, here is 38.5. This is the part number 5 in my collection of 100 parts. We start taking care of uh, having here part design selected. New empty document and a sketch. Now you know this procedure. We select this plane and we draw two circles. One is uh, twice ten and the other is nine point five. Now we draw other lines, polyline to somewhere here, then up and left. We draw another line from the circle. Now we make tangent this line with this circle then we apply trim for this arc and we draw an arc in three points one two three this is also tangent with the horizontal and we place dimensions this is 7 this is 5 here we want to place a chamfer And we apply a dimension of uh, 2. This is uh, radius 2. Then uh, this point and the center point are on the same horizontal. Another dimension is uh, from this point to this line of 21. And the last dimension is uh, the placement of this to the center of 64. We add a fillet of two millimeters two you see the dimension of five was eliminated but we have to write here two millimeters and five millimeters here five now we have also fully constrained sketch, close, pad, symmetric, and you see here 46.5. 
46.5 okay now we have to create this cut you see here 38.8 radius 6 and distance of 19 from the center and we select the tool sketch we select this plane we see inside and we draw a rectangle we project or we create a an external geometry by selecting this short line why because we want to place this line coincident with this end point we also want to place this point and this point symmetric well, about this line symmetry then dimensions this is 38.8 and this is measured from the center not from this end of 19 fully constrained sketch close then we apply pocket symmetry through all okay now we apply this fillet of uh, six to do this we select this edge we keep pressed control key and we select the other edge then we go here for a fillet of uh, six millimeters okay then we have to place this uh, cut you see radius 3 radius 3 and you also see 38.5 not 38.8 the level of this is uh, at 7 millimeter from base or aligned with the center of uh, the circle and the part sketch we select this plane we draw a rectangle then we place it uh, as uh, symmetrical about this axis symmetry we apply coincident with this point we apply uh, dimensions this is 38.5 almost 0.8 and we project or we create an external geometry of this line why because we want to place this line coincident with this uh, point finish sketch extrude with cut this means we use the pocket reversed through all not reversed okay now fillet of three i select this 
then I keep pressed control key and I select this and then fill it the value is 3 okay now we have to place these two holes 5.2 9.5 34 we select this face for a new sketch then circle 1 2 this is 5 and they are equal this and this are equal they are placed on the same vertical this and this on the same vertical dimensions 34 and 9.5 we project or we create a geometry selecting this then dimension of 9.5 next is to place this point and this point symmetry with this uh, axis okay close pocket through all okay now we finish the part and uh, this is uh, the last uh, moment thanks for watching bye bye